What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I'm here today with Thomas Atkinson, England goalkeeper and we've been invited on this morning, the ITV daytime show. So, how are you feeling Thomas? Nervous? Excited? I'm a bit excited. I like the television. I like doing my bit of a chit chat. So yeah, I'm really excited. Yourself? Yeah, I'm really excited myself, mate. It's a really good opportunity and you know, we've done things in the past before, like BBC Breakfast early in the morning and stuff, but everyone knows this morning. Yeah, I, 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 I bet there's a lot of people watching and seeing who it is, but yeah, I'm really excited, but 10.45. Yeah, 10.45. I'm a little bit sad that Harry Ash is not going to be here because his train's been cancelled, but we move on, don't we? We move forward, we'll do our bit for him. We'll tell him on telly, we're missing Harry Ash. <laughs> but yeah, uh, there's, a few of, there's a few other players with us, so let's go and catch up with them. ITV. ITV. Big time. Big time. Oh, the is going to I'm actually touching the roof. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, he... Hello. He's <laughs> nothing special, is it? Oh, same. Are you vlogging? We're vlogging. Do you want to say hello? Yeah. Tired. Aren't you? Tired. Yeah. Thomas did the sleep very well last night. I did the sleeps. Did he snore? Did he snore? I don't snore wow. Wow. Like, what do you mean like, sleeps? What I mean? was doing the sleeps really well, but I kept waking up. Because so. someone set the alarms for six o'clock. Oh, mate. What's that about? I think it might have been because we complained about the rooms. Hey, Scotty, how's the Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Is that camera on? Camera's on. Yes, that. <laughs> Today, I'm doing the job of myself and Reese Pinter. So, best of this morning. <laughs> Let's go and drive this here on before we get a show today. Come on, Jamie, show us what we're displaying today, lad. What is it? Um, what is it, Thomas? Do you know what it is? What is it, Thomas? Just read it, Jamie. <laughs> the EAFA Nation League. EAFA? Yeah. Well, it is EAFA, so. It is EAFA. It's EAFA. I don't have to read it, but it is Stop explaining it. It is the read it. Technically, it is the AFAS, isn't it, Stan Scott? Same place, what? It is the AFAS now, technically. On the next. It is. Um, EAF slash EAFA, Nations League Division A. Champions. Good reading, that's it, good reading. Oh, well. <laughs> Learned a lot in year six. This is not right. There's no way. Yeah, think there's going to be a fight. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's back on. Oh. <laughs> if I had a horn, I'd just do it now. Maybe we do need cycling, Mikey. We're having a bit of an issue. Uh, the taxis were supposed to pick us up at 8.50 and it's now 9.05 and they're still not here. So, we're going to be late. We're going to be late, aren't we, boys? We're not going to get on telly anymore. Wind us off. Sofian's going to have to do the job on his own. Yeah, he's going to carry himself. Yeah. Huh? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. TJ, Sophia, I'm after on the run. A few moments later. Where are you going? Where are they going? They're going up. I don't know. Oh, can you have the text? Oh, yeah, it's like some cafe. I don't know where we are 
feels very... Very well. Like we shouldn't be. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's for everyone, this. Yeah, sure. Tom, we should just text it. Should we should just text it. And she just give us a yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In fact, you know, but we'll wait till we're in there, otherwise, we'll have to wait <laughs> Welcome to this morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, Tommy knows. Well, he's two kids put one total one Thomas, I think you should turn the interviewee into the interviewer yeah. and tell us some questions you're going to ask Ben yeah. Shepherd. What's your favorite yogurt? <laughs> What's your Nando's or what kind of milk do you have? What sort of bread do you have? Would you have a breakfast? <laughs> I'll tell you where to go. <laughs> <laughs> Martin will then be behind Jamie, then it's Re. Thank you. Bye, guys. About to meet a whole team of sporting heroes. England's current amputee football team are the most successful squad in 30 years. It's a unique sport that gives players who have already tackled their fair share of challenges the chance to play the beautiful game again. But to do that in Europe this year, I've had the chance to lift the trophy for England, they need our help. Yeah, so I think it's about time for a kickoff. Shall we meet them? Here Let's we go. It. In comes the team. Yes. Joining us, we've got Jamie. Martin. We've got Reese. Liam. There's TJ. Thomas. Oh, uh, Scott. Scott, the head coach. Yeah, Connor. Uh, Connor's there. Come on in, boys. Come on in. Sean. We've got Sean. We've got Soyfan. Jamie. Is that everybody? We all here. Hello there. Good morning, fellas. Morning, 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 How are you? Thanks How are you doing, in. Scott? Very well, thank you. Yourself? Very, very good indeed. Now, tell me about how these guys all got involved with play. It's, I mean, it's a brutal game, really. I think people who haven't seen amputee football before might think it's a little bit slow, yeah. going through the motions a little bit. But yeah. in actual fact, it's a very, very fast game. And it's a brutal game, so we have snap crutches regularly. <laughs> oh, my, you must get through them at a rate of knots, no? Yeah, definitely. Everyone, yeah. everyone jokes about me because one of mine's really bent. So, <laughs> yeah, bent that. Hold, on. Hold that up. Hold that up for us. So this is Liam's. Can you see the bend in that? Can you see? I mean, I'm not sure they were designed to bend like this. No. What happened there, Liam? Uh, probably just someone's tackled rough. me and it's bent, but I've just got used to it now, so... Was, was, that, a, was that during an international fixture or yeah, a domestic fixture? Yeah. It's just happened over a long time, loads of fixtures. Okay. It wasn't a particularly gnarly no. tackle with a Frenchman no. or something oh. like that. Oh. That would have no. been acceptable. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and Liam, how did you get involved with the team? So I found out about amputee football through social media. It was actually our friend Jamie Oakey who sent me a message. I didn't know nothing about the sport, didn't know nothing about amputee right. football, and then... He sent me a message and said, why don't you come and try amputee football with mm -hmm. us? And I did, and just not look back sort of thing. And what happened to you? How did you... How did you have I, I was in a road traffic accident when right. I was 20 years old, and unfortunately, they just couldn't save my leg because it was so badly damaged. But, like I say, opportunities like this, you know, mm -hmm. I wouldn't it, have got before, so... It must be amazing, actually, to, to find a team like this. It must be a real lifeline for yeah, you. Yeah, definitely, and I think as much as we all love playing football and stuff, you know, it's very rare that we have all these deep conversations about, like, how are you feeling, how yeah. did you lose your leg, but there's just something really special about being around other amputees and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Done. TV done. Uh, that was quite cool, really. A little bit nervous to start with, but felt better as it went along. Are we decent? No. Yeah. Well, how did you find that, Thomas? Bit funny, to be fair. Cat Dealey loved you. There weren't the same questions that the game was no, the start. No, there wasn't. Cat Dealey loved you. It was funny, though. It felt funny. funny to me, guys. Oh, <laughs> he's getting rinsed on line. Why? 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 For standing on the end? Why are you getting rinsed? <laughs> Why are you saying what? Uh, Who's saying what? The group chat, that guy that's gave us the uh, Aspire thing, he's messaged me saying, if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, oh. Good experience. I thought, I thought it was a good experience, but it's done now. God's Let's sake. Uh, see what it brings next. Have you seen the GoFundMe? No, no. 15 grand it's on now. Already? You're joking? Yeah, no. Mate, that's literally yeah. in like five minutes. It's, it's already gone to 15. Yeah. 
for Fuck yeah. me, in five minutes. It's gone up like man. six, seven grand in that ten minute space we was on there then. <laughs> yes, Thomas. <laughs> yes, Thomas. <laughs> Cars here, oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. much. About 19 cars upstairs. Let's go. Well, that's it now. Our trip to London for this morning TV show is done. Jamie Oakey is now the most famous amputee in Britain. Hashtag get the ladder seat. Well, in, uh, in good news. Birds will put it on the screen yeah, anyway. If it's our 30 grand that we need to go to the Euros. But that doesn't mean we stop because obviously. It starts to pay for camps. Yeah, the That's more the better. That's just for the Euros, isn't it? So. Yeah, the more the better, really. But at least we've got our guaranteed money for going to the Euros now. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to go for yeah. a scran now. <laughs> we're going to Nando's and then we'll see what's next. I'm going to curl up in a ball and die. <laughs> Jamie, okay, he's famous now. <laughs> He said, was he was said, I'm going to see what I can do with the tweets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But yeah, we will catch you next time, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that. I always forget to say that in these videos, but please do. Appreciate all your support, and we will catch you later.